Hey guys, Kirby Super here. Today I'm going today I'm going to be doing another scratch tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about movement uh this movement code. Now I know it looks complicated and it is because I don't even know how it works, but I know it does some pretty cool stuff. So basically, let's break it down. So you got a, a value plus a, another value times the cosine of a value times 150 and the timer minus 3. Then you put that in there, and then what it does is it makes this cool hover effect, and that's pretty neat. Now, it, it there is other uh other ones of these, like uh, tan. I'm pretty sure makes uh, like a transition. Yeah, like that makes it look like it would be like a loading screen or something. And what you could do is make it hover like that. And it looks like uh, bubbles and stuff. So what I could do is add 200 to that and make it more extreme. Maybe 500 and make it even more extreme. And yeah, that's pretty neat. And that's some um, simple movement code for y'all tads. Uh, so I'm gonna go really, I'm gonna really quickly see if there's others. I'm sorry if you hear a bunch of background noise. Someone's mowing the lawn right now. Okay, that one doesn't do anything. Asin doesn't do anything. Akos. Does Akos do anything? Nope. Does A Atan do anything? No. Just make it go to the bottom. Does N do anything? Uh, no, not really. Does Log make it do anything? No, not really either. Does E make it do anything? No. So, these are basically the only two that are really used. So, what you could do is make it like this. I'll make it go from corner to corner. That's pretty cool. Or you could reverse it around and do this. And that's pretty cool. So that is some movement code that you guys can use to make your menus more interactable. Like for example if you uh hold on i did something wrong with store sprite there we go let me just uh take that remove it let me just put a, a quick play button now another way to make your menus uh better it is uh is by uh adding some like play buttons or just making your play buttons look better and a way to do that is make them rounded squares so to do that you make a square like this with the corner pixels removed then make a circle and make sure it's the right size for it to fit in there and then it works it just works And it's simple. So you copy them. And you got the, your thing. And then you could add a, a, a play. Don't make it, don't make the text on the play button complicated. Just make it simple, like just put play basically, and that's it. And of course, uh, 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 another good way to do it is to grab one of these, make it a, co a cosine, 
make it like that and put a forever loop and go like that so then now it's hovering and stuff another thing you should do to make your menus more interactable is uh make another one green flag click forever loop and then grab a motion block go to uh no forever if if touching mouse pointer then repeat 10 change size by 10 then grab copy it change size by negative 10 grab a wait until grab a operator not grab a touching mouse pointer and then and for the else statement make it set size to 100 percent so what this is gonna do is make it so that it gets bigger when it's touching the mouse pointer and that when it isn't it's just like that and the reason we put it in a separate loop is if we put it inside of this loop what happens is when it expands it stops moving and you don't want that because then it looks ugly and stuff and then yeah that's that's another way or you could also make it size 200 uh, this value by the way you could set it to whatever you want the rest value uh, this this val okay let me just really quickly explain what each value does this value is where it starts so I could change it to 50 negative uh, 50 that's where it starts with the y-axis and just leave it at negative 75 uh, this value is how intense the shake is, like if I set it to 500, as you can see, I mean it's how fast the shake is, I believe this is how intense the shake is, okay, no, I believe this is perhaps, yeah, that, no, that's the radius of the shake, and uh, I guess this is sort of how intense, or I guess you don't really choose. And uh, yeah, that's how to make your menus more uh, more uh, interactable and stuff. You should also to so that when it's right clicked, make uh, an, a sound. Like if this is your play button, uh, it should make a sound when it starts. Like when it's right clicked, play start sound pop. So what's gonna happen is place that pop noise. I'll make it louder for you guys. As you hear, pop noise, and that's how to make your menus more interactable. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya.